course, well, I can tell you one thing. Coming on the road in Troy, Alabama, and playing, uh, oh, yeah. An ugly win, an ugly contest, but golly, the fight, the finish. I mean, it goes down to the I mean, last onside kick. I mean, I, I, I mean, for me personally, physically and emotionally exhausted, uh, what a contest. You know, we had the poise to come back and really take control in the third quarter. And, and for whatever reason, we let them back in it, and, and they fought hard. And, you know, you have the game really won. You got to solidify the dog on possession of the football there in the last row of Dustin Coates. And unfortunately, you know, he fumbles, and then, God, it's just been one of those deals. And we come back to a viewable onside kick uh, to take that victory. I mean, I, I'm really proud of him. I'm really proud of him. It's, it's amazing to see. Uh, there's so many different things that happened in that contest with us getting, uh, you know, two offensive turnovers there for points in the first half. Our defense with the Colts with seven in the first half. And I told them, I said, the boys football team is going to go out there and make, make the adjustments and come back and win. And, you know, it's about these players. And those are the guys that made play. Uh, it's, it's really gratifying. We, we really we weren't all there offensively for whatever reason. Probably, probably my fault. You know, I mean, no, it is my fault. You know, I, I run this bunch. So, uh, you know, we're going to make those adjustments and we're going to make sure we're ready to go. we got a good Coastal Carolina football team coming in here. I believe they're ranked in the end up winning. Uh, undefeated top 25 bunch, and I'm sure they're going to be excited to come in here on Halloween and play. But we're going to be ready. But uh, we need to enjoy this win, uh, relax a little bit, and get our heads back straight, and move on. I probably won't be able to hear a thing we're saying because I'm, I'm here on an exercise bike. We got buses back it up. We got a locker room full of misfits in there. I won't be able to hear anything, but that's where we are. So. Well, at this time, we will take questions from members of the media. Uh, if you would unmute yourself, identify yourself, and ask Coach a question, we will uh, take that. I can't hear the words you say. Mike, can you repeat the questions? If I can hear them, I'll be glad to. Mike. Julian, I think you had a question. How are you doing, Coach? Can you hear me? I can barely hear you. I may have to jump into this video conferencing call. Go ahead. I know you said that this game was an ugly win, but what does it say about your team that even not at not at their best playing wise, that you guys are still able to come out with a victory on the road against a talented hey, Sunbelt opponent the like the Trojans? We're, we're, we're playing on the road in the Sunbelt Conference in Troy, Alabama, and we won the game. We found a way to win the game. That's what's the most important thing. How we do it, why we do it, whatever it is, winning that game on the road in this conference is what it's all about. Ugly win, pretty win, I don't give a, a, a damn. It's a W, and we're going to learn from it. All right, hang on, Coach. I've got, all right, I've got a question from – oops, let's see. I've got a question from Stan Autry for you. Uh, talk about the third quarter and the two defensive turnovers that changed the momentum. I told him going out there, I said, you played a hell of a first half. You hold them to seven points. Offensively, we give them, we give them those turnovers for scores, uncharacteristic. And, and to have the poise and not come in here and drag our heads. Uh, I told him, I don't, you know, when you look at our teams in the past, sometimes we drag the head and, and don't come out here and don't have to fight. But man, they stood right to the door and look them in the eyes and played one hell of a second half. Holding those guys, the two point conversion throws it out of bounds. I um, mean, you look at Stretch, uh, Jordan, I mean, just, just what he did on the football field. It's amazing to see the effort they played there. I'm just so proud of them. And, and Troy, listen, Troy had a lot to do with it. Took Lindsay and that much. They do a great job. I have a lot of respect for them. And, and Troy had a lot to do with our openness tonight. All right, Coach, question from Scott Watkins. Talk about the continued growth and maturation process of Quad Brown. Well, you know, every week he's got to make uh, – he's got to become a better quarterback in decision-making. and You know, some of the stuff early on uh, I thought was a little bit uncharacteristic of him, holding the football a little bit longer, uh, throwing some screens out there that, that really weren't there. Um, but, man, listen, it, 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 everything we do at this point in time is a learning experience. Every week there's going to be something new thrown at him. And I, I think 
I mean, like I said, the sky's the limit. I love him because he's so confident and he has he has great. When I say uh, just poise, he stands tall. He doesn't ever get down, and he's ready to go out there. Doesn't matter what the situation may have been, a touchdown or, or, or a sack, or a fumble, and they scoop and score. He's ready to go move on. All right, Coach, question from Jeremy York. What is the development of Roger Carter and the return of Destin's coach meant to the team today? Well, Roger Carter is as solid of a player as we got. He really is. Uh, he had one un uncharacteristic drop there, uh, or we should have had a touchdown. But uh, I can't say enough about him. He is unbelievable. He really is. From the time he stepped foot on our, our campus and started playing the position with us, he has been a special, special player for us and a special person. We're very fortunate to have a guy like him on our football team. And with Destin Coates, you know, coming back and, you know, having the eye. Early on, the struggles were there in the run game. It, it certainly was. And uh, it, he looked a little fatigued. He had a banged shoulder. And he continued to push through, push through. And uh, it's just unfortunate the situation where he won with there in the, 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 the last possession for us. That, uh, we've got to correct and understand we can't have those in order to be a great football team. But uh, I'm so proud of Destin, who's become and the back he is. How did the team rally after that fumble late in the game? <laughs> like I said, I mean, it, it's just it's just the confidence. This is the maturation of a football team that that believes they can win, and, and they kept believing. They they kept believing. They knew they had to make a stop. Uh, they gave up the touchdown, or we gave up the touchdown and the two point conversion. Uh, you just keep your head strong. You, you hold it high. You go out there. You got to continue to play the next play. And I, I told him earlier after our, our last game. I said, I want you to understand. You, you can't be defeated until the clock hits zero. So I don't want, want us ever to look like that again. And I thought at times against Arkansas State, we did look defeated, but not tonight. Not tonight. Didn't matter what the situation was. We uh, we stood tall. Question from Brady Weiler. The offense ran 86 plays and held the ball for over 37 minutes. Talk about the impact that had on wearing down the Troy defense. Well, you know, when you do that, 37 minutes, 86 plays, I mean, that wears anybody down. I can tell you one thing, I'm tired. I was tired. <laughs> it's just what it is. Uh, good thing. Good thing we did. And uh, kept them, uh, keeping them off the field. Just uh, – you know, that, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. It helped us win this football game. It wasn't the sole purpose because in our 86 plays, we were probably average about four and a half yards per play, if that or whatever it may be. Uh, but we got to do better. But it's great to have that possession time to keep them off the field. Keeps your defense fresh. Coach, we got one last question for you, and then we'll let you go. Uh, the defense had five sacks and four turnovers. Talked about, talk about them being disruptive all night long. Uh, there's, there's no question about it. You know, uh, when, when you come back from a game like we had against Arkansas State and to stand tall and make the plays they were doing, that, that's, that's great to see. And, you know, our defensive staff, we were without our defensive coordinator uh, against Arkansas State, and to have him back, and can, he just came back on Wednesday, uh, you know, has a lot to do with it. I mean, for, for us to be a strong football team, we have to be together. We understand the issues here with the COVID and, and, and the protocols that, that potentially can happen, you know, when testing positive or contact tracing. But uh, they did a great job. It was fantastic to see. And, and some of these players, I mean, we were missing Quay White tonight. And uh, a lot of players had to step up and play. Coach, actually, one more <laughs> last question came in for you. Talk about uh, the, the play of the offensive line tonight that obviously opened up some holes for our running backs. Well, I'm, I'm going I'm to hold my tongue on that. I, I thought early on they weren't, uh, they weren't as crisp as we should have been. Uh, I, I really can't just sit here and say, yeah, there was just gashing holes up front. I thought Troy, Troy early on did a good job and kind of holding us uh, in check. And I think as the game progressed, we started pushing them uh, back a little bit and moving in the line of scrimmage. I'm not sure what we ended up in our rushing yards, but uh, – to have that opportunity to control the football like we did. So a, whether it was four and five yards of carry or three and five yards, four yards of carry, whatever it may be, uh, it, it's, it's good to do and hold that ball.